Uh-huh. There were many students of Amerix and Kibe. <laughs> so don't try that with Kenyan parents, mm. my friend. How are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Sharon. And I am Nachi. And this is Nasha's Trends. Trends. So we've had Hakimi, the footballer, the Moro- Moroccan footballer, mm-hmm. and all the drama, the divorce, and the money, I don't know, 80% to the mother and everything. What do you think about that? So what 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 what, what were the emotions that ran into you? When I heard of that yes. story, yeah. I, I actually had mixed emotions to start with. Mm-hmm. Uh, to some extent, I pity men uh, 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 currently because so many women get, got, go into marriages, especially with uh, uh, public figures who are well paid and stuff. Not because they're in love, but because they want the money. So to some good extent, I was pitying the boy child, you know, because they hardly receive the love, especially when women just want the money. Mm. You know, so many people nowadays want for them, uh, marry for the money. Mm. In I marry you, then two, three years down the line, especially with the laws of the US, mm-hmm. it's so easy to get someone else's money as long as you're married. Mm. And that is one, on one end. And on the other end, I felt quite disappointed for the lady, you know, because um, she looked forward for that money. <laughs> Half <laughs> half of the well. Yes. Uh-huh. And that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a like, lot of money. Basically, for... you have that money, yeah. you don't have to work again. From a footballer who's playing for PSG and yes. all that. So, yes. like, she really expected a lot of money. Do they have a child? Two. They oh. have two... two... Two th- is it sons okay. children? Okay, two children, mm-hmm. and they've been married since twenty twenty and for three years. Huh? Yeah, they have been dating since twenty eighteen. But what really like uh, struck, struck. Mm-hmm. my attention was that he's twenty four years old. So they started dating when he was like a teenager. So um, at some point, I understand his behavior or habit because he he's still very young, and I oh, think mm-hmm. he he still uh, uh, doesn't have the judgment. Maybe he trusted the mom. But so you don't think it's right that he saved his money with his mother? No, I, 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 I was curious why, why he would do that. But when I saw that he's twenty four years old, mm-hmm. I think I understood because he's he's still not he's not really like I actually mature think, yet. I actually think that was a very mature decision to make for his age. Because you know, once you know as a teenager mm-hmm. and you get that much money, you want to be in control. Fact that he sat back and thought like my mom would be the better option to hold my money. That was a very mature decision from mm. his end. Another question I would ask is, why would a 24-year-old be married? But people marry young. But like, is it really the, the, the right thing to do? Because uh, I've seen a quote before uh-huh. that that, uh, if, I, I, I don't know how I can put it, but if the, it was about, this lady was like 30 years and she's like, that relationship that I, I have had saved me from my first divorce. Because sometimes people marry very young and they're, they're, you've not gotten to a, a place where like you have that judgment. Yeah. You're, you're still naive and I yeah. think it was wrong for, unless if the lady is older, but if he's 25 and the lady is like 25 and they started like marrying. But you know, there's no really a definite, definite time for anyone to fall in love, for anyone to get married. But marrying young, I'm, I'm not for that idea. But anyone can do, you know, it's, you can do as you please. It's a free world, you mm. know. Uh, and I think if you are in love and you are able to support a family, why not? Be, get married at whatever age you feel like getting married. As long as, you know, you've already been called an adult. Mm-hmm. You can make your own decision. You know, at, as long as you are over 18 and you feel like you can get married, you're comfortable too. People make mistakes. You know, uh, I believe there are people who've married really young and they are living happily with their spouses to this day and the people age. that married really young and they like made really bad d- decisions and when now you 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 become older and mm-hmm. now know things you look back and you're like but you I know it works not. both ways the people who've married young and they've lived happily and have, they've made a fortune mm-hmm. and they're in happy marriages to old age mm-hmm. and the people who've married young and have ended up miserable at some point you know yeah. so it's it it is not definite 
So the rule is not don't marry young mm. because you could marry young and you end up in a very happy relationship mm. or marriage, you know. And you could marry young and also and you could also marry old and still end up in a miserable relationship. Mm. So there is no definite time like don't marry at this age, no. As long as you are you are an adult, sweetheart, just marry at any time you you feel right for you mm. personally. Okay, another thing that really really uh, attracted my attention about yeah. this or like me situation yes. is how people reacted to it. Uh-huh. There were many students of Americs and Kibe. I, I actually feel like he's going to be the topic of this year's men's conference. Yeah. I, I saw I saw you <laughs> I saw you garden saying that he should he should get the award of the best Joy African player, but no player is now player of oh, the, the player. character development. Yes. And he should be the, the guest speaker at the next men's, men's conference. conference. For real. Yeah. I, I think he's going to be the, the topic of most men's conference. But again, you know, mm-hmm. people like what is spreading spreading online mm-hmm. uh, in African countries, especially Especially, you know, this third world and our countries like Kenya, mm. you do not save money with your parents mm. because the character development that your mom will chapa you, mm-hmm. you'll be shocked. What you, about it? Because she's going to give it all as sadaka, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> every every money you could you give her, uh, Pastor Kanyari, mm. they're going to take that money. And you know, many of our pastors, uh, our pastors just don't care where the, where the money is coming from mm. as long as you're giving. Mm. Well, yeah. <laughs> so better. don't try that with Kenyan parents, mm. my friend. What do you think about your man uh investing in your in, in them in the mom? Yeah. Yeah. Uh I think one mm-hmm. um it depends. I actually have no problem with that. Because mm-hmm. you know, maybe I'm not trustable. And if I am not to be trusted, mm. then you know, do you like you cannot trust me, I cannot force you to, but I also feel like if I am in this relationship with this partner, mm. I will have to use common sense too. Mm. Like I just don't sit back and depend on him. Mm. Everything. Mm. I will also find ways to invest the little money mm. or ask him for, you know, businesses. Like I have my own businesses and things that are going to support me. Because at the end of the day, maybe he's not also going to be there forever. Mm. Pro- uh, at some point, maybe he will die. God forbid, you know. Yeah, God but God. there are things you must take into account and be responsible for yourself and for your own life because things happen. Maybe he, yes, he will be alive for as long as, but maybe he'd want to divorce you at some point also and find another woman. So you in the relationship, regardless of what he's using or how he's investing his money, you be responsible enough to know that this money, this man has money. And if at all I am in this relationship, I have to benefit in a way also. Mm. So start your own businesses. Don't depend on him to the point that now you want a divorce and you want his money. Mm. Make your own money. Also the character traits of these men that are going like to give 80% of their money to the mom yeah. means that then they are going to depend on the mom even for like advice yeah. and everything. There are people we've had stories we of people We all want sons like Hakimi. <laughs> But uh-huh. not husband like I can't. But not husband Shindo. Because <laughs> now I was saying about the character traits. Yeah. These are the people that are not going to proceed with any project, mm-hmm. even if you talk as a couple, they're yeah. like, ah, let me ask mom about it. No, I think this is where we go wrong. Mm. Probably Hakimi uh Nani invested the money with her mom, mm. with his mom, sorry. Mm. Not because he's a mama's boy or whatever he wants, mm. he'd rather get it from the mom, mm. but because it was a way of security for him. I'm sure maybe the accounts are under his mom, mm. but he has all the access. Did he know that the wife is after the money? Probably. Probably. And why, why would he like go ahead and give birth with this, this woman? But you know, you love this woman. But you know, deep down, she's after the money. Almost all women are after money at mm. some point. We cannot say that we don't like money. Mm. We, actually, a woman who does not love money, mm-hmm. be scared of her. Mm. Because you will never progress in life with a woman who does not love money. A woman must love money. A woman must push you to get more money. Mm. So if you have a woman at all who mm. does not love money, you should be Who doesn't afraid. love money? Anyway? Everyone loves money, yeah. exactly. Mm. So a fact that maybe Hakimi knew this woman is after money, mm-hmm. it should not have stopped him from, you know, getting kids with a woman or mm. something. I also, I also looked at uh, why, like, Maybe a possibility of why she would like want half of the money. Yeah. One possibility is because she has the children. Yeah. And anything could happen. Maybe he would uh, later in life not uh, be maybe able to give the child child support or something yeah. of the sort. And also he, he was cheating and he had some rape allegations. 
So oh, maybe hakili. like this man had frustrated this woman until yeah. she was like, ah, ah, I need to cry in Dubai. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it could be a possibility. And you know, rumors have it uh-huh. that this woman is currently in a coma. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> because she found out that he has no money. Like He only owns, I don't know, three jerseys or something. And, and boots. And <laughs> boots, you know. Wow. So it if it were you, by the way, now mm. you are in this relationship yeah. for three years. Mm. Let's say... Marriage. Yeah, in this uh, marriage uh, for three years, mm. you have kids. Mm. And now you are only after the money. Mm. And now you, the time has come mm. that now it's... I've already given you two kids. Mm. Well, if, I'm, if I was after the money, these two kids have... Funga macho, like mm. you don't really see. You are, cl- you are clouded and you're not really thinking, I want the money. And now the time has come when I want the money. And now mm. you realize this person is broke. Not broke literally, mm. but you know, he doesn't have money. He doesn't own anything. Everything else is with the mother. Mm. How would you react? You ju- I, I think she, she must have realized of that. Because mm-hmm. you will always know. Maybe you want money and he's like, ah, let, mom is not available. No, no. Now this like, is where... I'm a hide kabisa, sasa sa indo me realize. City, I'm a hide. Uh-huh. This is where people are not getting this whole Hakimi situation. Mm. Hakimi was not saving the... Me, I believe. Mm. Hakimi was not saving the money with the mom mm. so that he can be, mom, I want this. Mom, I want this. No. Mm. He is saving the money with the mom, mm. but probably has ATMs to every other bank account that is registered under the mother because so even the cars all... the houses everything is registered under the mother. yes mm. but he has all the access you know to the money oh. and everything oh. just that it's not it's not his it's not his it's mm. the mom but he has all the access so i feel like even if the one the wife wanted one million at this moment mm. he could just be like uh let me just go draw it for you because it has all he has all the access mm. it's not like ah let me consult mama first no that was not the situation mm. because if that was the situation then this woman would have known and at this point, she wouldn't have asked for a divorce because she would have known, eh, hey, it's mama who has the money. Mm. But I don't think Hakimi was playing in that game. I think he was just uh, being like using the mom as security mm. in case anyone wants to take advantage of him. Because she has actually realized during divorce. when divorce During is, divorce. Yeah. Yes. That's when, oh. like, how will you react? Because this woman right now is hey. in a coma. Hey. How will you have reacted? <laughs> <laughs> I will <laughs> also be in a coma. <laughs> you, could, you cannot wake up like you're in a coma and then you, fungo and you're like, oh. you just go back into your own coma. Yeah, yeah that is what? really sad. So if, if you marry into wealth, sign a prenup. Sign up, pre- by the way, yes. But, but, but you know the prenup is to, for the, the wealthy one to For protect. the wealth one, yeah. 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 So, but no, if you marry into wealth, Use common sense. Mm. Don't eat their money. Mm. Make your own money. But she also has 1.7 million followers. She should be an influencer. She has the followers already. But you know, you could, money. You, could uh, be an inf- you could have the following mm. just through your husband, you know. Mm. Because she's married to a, a famous person. Mm. So she has the following. But probably she's just a sit-at-home mom. Mm, yeah. The husband provided everything. And she did not really see the need of bothering herself to do anything because well me my target is half the the money let me just I'm give a you footballer's wife yeah let me just mm. give you two kids then at the end of the day you know i'm going to divorce you she's lucky and maybe she marry has... the love of my she'll life. get child, child support yeah that is the only luck she has wow. and that is if this husband does not uh take the kids take the kids wow. so if the husband ends up taking the kids then woo poor her it's it's really sad yeah yeah guys we've come to the end of the video we really appreciate that you've watched till here please subscribe keep sharing leave your comments i'm really getting comments in my inbox but please i would really appreciate if you left them here yes yeah so until next video bye bye